All right, I have not seen really strong Citron decks. Uh, he's really lacking late game, which is a major problem. Uh, maybe there's something, though. I would love to be surprised and learn a Citron strategy. Uh, getting a great Headstone Carver would be so good here. So maybe we'll get rid of the Rolling Stones. also really good, though. So maybe we'll get rid of the Camel Crossing. Come on. No, didn't get it. But we have a nice curve. We have a 2, a 3, and a 4. And um, Citron does run things on 2 that will get rid of the Swashbuckle. But maybe we'll just put the Swashbuckle there. He played a little weenie nut, so I'm honestly not so worried here. Should we put the Swashbuckle there? I think we... Uh... I think we'll put it here, actually. Let, let's experiment with this and see if this really pays out. Just to keep the swashbuckle safe. What is this guy doing? So, landscape is really good. Oh, wow. we get, There's our headstone carver. Right when we need it. I think we'll... Is there a way of making a headstone carve play this turn? There actually is. Uh, maybe we can headstone carve... Um, and Smoke Bomb. Maybe that's actually better. We kind of want to get rid of this thing. I guess the Smoke Bomb will be okay. Mechanical Laugh, yeah. <laughs> so good. Mad Chemist, really hard card to use, effectively. Peanut. Okay, so we'll definitely Smoke Bomb this over. We'll save the gravestone for one of our three or our four, so we're still doing really well. He, you know, he played a dry snow job with no freezing, so really not so worried about this guy. Wow, Monster Mash is coming right up. So I think we'll save one of our one of our little tricks just to keep one of our minions alive here. Because uh, we really want the Monster Mash to be in full force. That's why I'm playing with three instead of the two. Wow, that's pretty good. Anything else? Plans can't be hurt. Yikes. So, we'll, we'd sp we'll, we'll get rid of this. Uh, question is, do we want to... Do we want to stick something back in the gravestone here? Um, nothing's really going to die. I think it might be worth it. And this will pop out and we'll be able to have the big, uh, the big play next turn. So it's not really doing anything this turn yet anyway. And drawing a card's really good, so that's what we'll do. This is like a double double turn. We're kind of getting our weed spray value, and we're going to our landscaper value. I mean, weed spray, by the way, would be so good here. Where's our weed spray when you need it? Uh, we'll just monster mash this turn. It's really, really good. Wow, bounce. That's kind of rough. <clears throat> so we'll definitely nerf that. Uh, is it even worth monster mashing right now? Probably isn't. I think we'll just do this. There's all these little true strikes that are kind of driving me crazy. Maybe I should take care of one of these true strikes eventually. Dolphinado? Sure, why not? Oh well, that survives. We're hitting him for two. So I believe Headstone the play is Headstone Carver and Pogo Zombie. Uh, maybe Surprise Gargantuan's better than Pogo here. Yeah, it probably is. So yep, yeah, that's a good play. And this will survive. Uh, do we want to put this here just in case he doubles up with the peanut? Maybe. We'll be able to swash Buckle Monster Mash either way next turn, so this will, this is a good play. <coughs> Alright. Uh, 
that guy will die. Oh well. And he did double up. Too bad. Well, it's going to be Swashbuckle Monster Mash next turn, which is really, really, really good. And that true strike is gone. Is a 4-4 good to play here? Camel Crossing. Maybe Camel Crossing is better than Monster Mash? Probably is, actually. Yeah, this is fine. <coughs> <coughs> so we'll bounce this so our swashbuckle will start growing. Uh, maybe the six damage was better. Oh well, we have monster mash, so we're doing just fine. Uh, that little that little guy in the water lane though is doing tons of damage to us for free, so we kind of have to take care of that eventually. Where's our hero power? Not really blocking much this game. And these little one damages are really adding up. Where's our fishy imp? Come on. So this looks like a monster mash turn. For sure. And if he doesn't deal with both of these swash... He only has two cards in hand. If he doesn't deal with both of these swash buckles right now, it's going to be lethal. 6 plus 6. What else is in the box? So, here we go. Uh, there's no reason for us to lose this game. We'll be down to five, which is fine. And he has no cards left. Putting on tons of heat right now. <coughs> that little string bean, though. Maybe we'll just knock it down or something. So, I'll definitely do this. <coughs> He has one card in which he needs to block two of mine. Ain't happening. Ain't happening. Three Peter. Uh, three Peter is really bad for him, so I'm actually going to nerf that. I could nerf three Peter, but that's actually more dangerous than the three Peter right now. That was actually the wrong place for him to put that three Peter. So six damage should be lethal unless he blocks here. Come on, get him. Oh, yes. All right, we have one more star till we rank up. The hype is true. Stick with Neptuna. Oh, yes. You guys got to try out this Neptuna deck. It's awesome. 19. Are you guys ready? Are you ready? And we're against a oh, level 2 guy. Oh, well. We're going to go out with a bang. We're just going to cream this guy. This is our... <clears throat> This is our level up match. This is our Diamond League match. Oh, yes. This is our Diamond League match. Look at this hand. Uh, I don't know if the smoke bomb's that great. So, what? Double swashbuckle. Oh, it's crazy. We are going to roll through this guy. I, I would really love this guy to be like this amazing player with a great deck and just someone who doesn't play ranked. So. Something tells me it's not going to happen. Something tells me he's just in a cheese quit right now. He's stalling. Don't mess with Neptuna. He's like, no, I lost Neptuna already today. Oh, guess not. All right. Headstone Carver. Ain't no doubt about it. Headstone Carver is really good in ranked one, and I'll tell you two reasons. Matchmaking. Yeah, the reason, again, you guys, the reason that they make the matches so crazy like this uh, when the game comes out worldwide, the matches will be more even. They're definitely going to have a system for that. Uh, I, I have no doubt of it. They're doing too well uh, in this game to make a blunder like that. The reason that it's not like that is because if they would... There's so few players now. Oh, wow. That's a pretty good move. There's so few players in the game right now that if they would always match you up with someone who's your level, it would take forever sometimes to get matches. So, And there we go. Uh, we should definitely do something about that repeater. Another one! What's going on? We just got another one. Uh, should we take care of the repeater or just go all out with the swashbuckles? I think the swashbuckles are actually better. So that repeater, it could end up doing a lot of damage, but who cares? Swashbuckle madness. Oh, yes. Wow, that's a lot of damage. What? What is this? 
Is he gonna finish off? Oh, sh finish us off in one turn here? Come on, bounce it. Something. Not the sunflower. Oh yes, that's fine. He's still doing ten damage to us, which is really crazy. And he has that thing still in hand. Yikes. Like I could have lethal next turn. We also could have lethal next turn. Arr. So we just have to keep gravestoning there. Whoa. This guy's putting on a a huge fight here. What is going on? Uh, this is the play. <laughs> Definitely the play. Okay. This guy almost got us with this repeater. The repeater strategy usually does not work, but kind of got us here. So, uh, smoke bomb might win us the game. We have to do this just for the <laughs> for the hype. If he has like a fertilizer and a yeah, that's the reason why you don't play headstone cover on the ground if you can play it on heights. If he has a fertilizer and a torchwood, then he might actually win. What? That was the wrong place to torchwood! Oh well. It's all good. Um, do we shoot for lethal here? No, we shoot for playing safe. And we'll use that smoke bomb next turn or something like that. So, wow, we really stabilized. <laughs> that repeater almost got us. What's going on, Barcode? How you doing, man? We're about to level up. This is the level up match. We're going to hit rank 50, the Diamond League, and buy some packs today. Let's go. Uh, Camel Crossing, not a bad card. More nuts. Crazy. Wow. This guy's really, really ripping us here. Yikes on bikes is right. What are we even going to do here? I think we just passed the smoke bomb. We'll be able to take that thing out with the smoke bomb next turn, but... This guy's really putting up a great fight. A lot of respect for this champ. He might even win here if he can really... No! That's lethal! What? What? Hopefully we'll block. We're probably not going to, though. No! Oh, come on! I love it. I really like it. Fertilizers. That's the way to go. Chomper wins. Oh, rest in peace, Neptuna. That's the game we lost, too. Okay, I'm going to win two more here. Let's go. <laughs> this zombie against Nightcap. The whole Hardy class is good because you have a... Uh... That was a crazy match. All right, here we go. I love how she falls into her fishbowl. It's so awesome. Uh, okay, so Spadao, the weakness of Spadao is the weed spray. So we're definitely going to hold on to that. Don't really need to bounce much. Um, we'll get rid of the smoke bomb. Oh, what a curve. Oh, this is a perfect anti-Spadao hand. So great. So even if he shrooms for two or something like this, the only thing he can really... He actually has a couple of powers that can deal three damage. And he just does that. That is a-okay. I think we'll play the swashbuckle there, just so it kind of won't be dry. And we'll have the smelly zombie set up, which is really amazing. <laughs> yeah, nerf the zombie side. I think they should make the plan stronger. It seems like the zombies are, are, are kind of strong right now. Oh, that's kind of sad. So that's the one thing. No! Swashbuckle's going to die. Don't kill my swashbuckle. We still have weed spray in hand. Weed spray value. So we'll get rid of that. Sort of for free. Uh, we might frenzy the, the smelly zombie here. We'll see what happens. What was that? Okay, hopefully this does not turn into something too OP. No, it turned into a briar rose. What? <laughs> it's turning into a six drop. Come on. Hopefully it doesn't have any flowers. Anna Spadao doesn't really run much in the flower. And we have a really bad hand right now. 
Extremely bad. What is this? Do we have to weed spray already? Uh, no, we'll just frenzy this. Why not? Uh, that'll survive. Ain't no doubt about it. And, uh, whatever. Maybe we'll get a, um, weed spray is really, really good. I bought, I bought weed spray. It's the only card I've actually bought, um, with my in-game energy cash money stuff. And, uh, wow, we're still, you know, just surviving here. Uh, we'll probably Camel Crossing and possibly Weed Spray here. We'll see how many cards he plays. Yeah, Weed Spray is a really good card. This Briar Rose, though, is kind of driving me crazy. What is that? <laughs> turned that into a... Come on. What's in the box? Oh, it turned into a beanie. The sad beanie. Uh, okay, let's do this. Uh, we can Weed Spray at a different point. I don't know why he put that in front of the Briar Rose. doesn't really make much sense to me. <laughs> That's why I really don't like any of these RNG cards, because they turn into really bad stuff. I mean, you got a Briar Rose off the first one, so. You really crafted them? Okay, careful crafting. Uh, you shouldn't craft a card until you know exactly how you're going to use it. I tried out all of these hardy decks, uh, and I realized the thing that was missing was uh, weed spray, and that's why I used it. Wow, we're down to eight. It's pretty sad. Oh, yes. Bouncing Briar Rose time. Definitely happening. Die. And we'll monster mash maybe next turn. Three damage to face? Come on, block. Octopus. Um, do we bounce something here? No, we don't. No, we don't. You're gone. So, Pogo will survive. He does get buffed. And we'll probably just Monster Mash or something like that. Uh, is, is getting rid of this bean? Nah, we'll, we'll save that. We'll save the Dolphinado for something more powerful. Yeah, I know. Are we at 19 right now? Okay, looks like a Monster Mesh turn to me. Ain't no doubt about it. We'll probably just Dolphinate or something. Just to get rid of it. There's that Briar Rose again. Great Dolphinate target. No! Um. Go! Get the Briar Rose. No! Oh well. Uh, maybe we'll Smoke Bomb. Is smoke bomb good? Uh, we'll take three damage. Taking three is pretty bad, actually. Even though we really need another minion to take care of this thing. Yeah, we'll smoke bomb this. Kind of taking a little risk here. Uh, four, five is nine, and hey, this might be lethal, actually, if we do really well on the blocks. Oh, that was good. That was really good. Oh, it blocked. Oh, too bad. <clears throat> Just need to hit him one more time with something. So we could really use a minion here. A small minion like a two drop would be amazing. And we can monster mesh once again. Oh yes, and the sumo. That's the perfect card because we'll be, just be able to, you know, totally abuse this guy. Wow, that's really scary. So we'll move you over here, and we will monster mash. Wow, that was really close, actually, extremely close. But this will be lethal. That was Graves of Wrath. Almost finished us off. Pretty good. Pretty good. Booyah. Oh, yes. <laughs> that is why the sumo zombie is so good. He's really good early game. He's a 2-3. He, you know, affects trades. And late game, he can sometimes finish you off. Just as he did there. We're up to 19. Come on, one more. Let's go. And we're against the level 5 guy. <clears throat> and another spadow. So the weed spray should come in handy again. Hopefully this guy won't briar rose from his stinky thing. That was so annoying. If that had been a different six trap, we probably wouldn't have even won that game. Um, this is pretty good. I think we'll get rid of this. Okay, well, we'll keep that, Chris. That's fine. Come on. No, we haven't gotten our octopus in a long time. Too bad we didn't get a headstone carver there. That would be so OP here. But he didn't have a turn one play either, so. We'll just sumo. Lots of sumos. 
Where's the king also? We haven't even... The king hasn't even had an appearance yet today. We really should have gotten one in our hands by now. Uh, we'll move you over here. Why not? That'll just be weed spray bait eventually. <laughs> Battery, okay. Who's your first today, by the way? I think, uh... Anyway, we'll figure that out. Oh, wow, that's really good. That is really good. <clears throat> so, we'll just move something over, probably in front of the potato mine, whatever he plays. And the pressure is really on right now. Oh, yes. Do we kill that, actually? It could be killing it would be better. Maybe moving in front of the potato mine is better. Uh, no, well, we can't kill it, so we'll move it here. Potato mine kind of becomes useless, therefore. And Sumo gets buffed. Oh, yes. Where's the king? Long live the king. Uh, what do we do here? I guess this is the correct play. That'll turn into a 3-3, so it'll take out that dude, and we'll be able to, you know, nerf something down and maybe smash it, so. You're here 12.50, yeah. Are you guys able to, to chat when I'm not on? The, does the chat room even work? What was that? So, yeah, we'll just Rolling Stone that. So we'll get rid of the attack here. <clears throat> so our weed dude survives one more. Where's Monster Mash when you need it? Give this man a Monster Mash. Spineapple bites the dust. <clears throat> Plants. That's okay. Do you know what? Because I kind of wanted my weed spray to die there, so I could, um, so I could play another card now. That's all right. Monster mash. Oh yes. Yeah, we'll just monster mash this turn. Ain't no doubt about it. <clears throat> we could get really greedy and try to. Nah, not worth it. Nothing really will survive. Also. It does? So guys, so you can, it's just whoever's in the chat first when you come, chat. And yes, I absolutely would love to make this place to be the Plant vs. Zombies chat room. I'm going to actually start advertising that, so you guys can definitely go for it. What was that? Dude! <clears throat> okay, we'll do it anyway. It's kind of good. It's not really that good, though. <clears throat> and even if this seedling turns into something impossibly good, uh... We'll be able to bounce it, so it'll be fine. Oh, the king is here! Oh, yes! Oh, oh, yes, the king is here! The king is in the house! Oh! And I don't think he's gonna have a way. He has two cards in hand. What? Is, maybe a berry blast would be able to take out the king here. Otherwise, this guy is messed up. Come on! No! Oh, wait, no, that's only... Hold on. Needs one more damage. No, he can't pull it off. All right, so we'll get rid of. We'll put you uh, here, I guess. Long live the king, baby. <clears throat> and uh, that Pismashia will die, and we are gonna get some knights now. Hopefully, he'll turn our headstone carver into a knight, and we'll be able to bound something here. No, it's scary. What you got? Move a plant. Uh, we'll just bounce that next turn. That was an okay move. We'll be able to... I hereby declare you a knight of the realm. Protect and serve. Oh, yes. So we'll just do this. And we'll probably stick the bounce back into a gravestone. So we'll just keep on being able to get some knights. Which is really awesome. And the king actually doesn't even die. So maybe we'll just wait on it. What was that? Shroom for two. It's not shroom for two, it's uh... Oh, that's pretty bad, actually. Um... 
I'm actually going to do this. I want the pogo zombie to turn into a knight. And we will... Yeah, pogo zombie will turn into a knight. So we'll just do this, actually, and draw a card. That's pretty good. Oh, yes. The weeds. Looks like the king is going to die here, though. That turns to a 4-5, but Pogo Zombie turns into another knight. And we can't even make a play here. Too bad. We'll have plenty of plays a little bit later. The Knights of the Realm. And that little berry only does two damage to this knight because he has two armor. And uh, that is not going to help. Wow. <laughs> All the health. Pretty good, but he's out of cards in a big way. And we'll take out one of these pairs here. The king. The king has led us to victory, hopefully. I mean, something could possibly go extremely wrong here, but it's kind of hard for us to lose. That knight didn't even take any damage there. This one will take two, so these knights should hopefully finish this dude off. Come on. Oh, wow. The bounce is so good here. The bounce is so good. So we'll do, um, we'll do this. Wait a second. Why didn't we kill that berry? Did that get... Oh, he got extra health from that thing. Oh, no, the knight's going to die. That's so bad. Three damage. It's only going to do one damage. How useless was that? He should have just saved that for face or something. So what do we weed spray? I guess we'll weed spray this. And what do we bounce? I guess we'll bounce this because this will be sort of lethal if we bounce it. Probably will be lethal. And we still have a knight up, which is really good on a lot of cards, so... All right, this should do it. Oh, yes, we're ranking up. <laughs> yeah, don't jinx it. Imagine triple insta-blocking and winning that game. All right, are you guys ready? Diamond League time. Turn on your video recorders. Coming down in history. Oh, boy. It's time for Diamond League. Look at that animation. So awesome. Ranked up, I get 50. Yes, 500. All right, you guys ready for some packing? All right. Let's pack it in, then I'll play some of you guys. I have to do the casino sound. All right, thank you for supporting our game. No problem. Here we go. It is pack time. Are you ready? One at a time here. Let's get some good stuff. Let's get some legendaries. That would be awesome. What's in the first pack? We got this useless, it's a super rare card, I do not know how, how it, it doesn't seem like a good card. Nice to see a Brain Vendor, it is a super rare, so maybe we'll just cash them in for something. But, uh, you know, it seems very useless, it's a 3-3, balances itself at the end of the turn, which it gives you a little lunchbox, it just does a bunch of random useless stuff, which I don't really know how to use it. Uh, we already have like five of those, so not so great. Here we go, come on, give me some good ones. Let's go. A few mirror nuts wouldn't be bad. Laser bean. We already have four of those. Useless. Electrician's nice, though. Cat lady and yeti. I don't know. I'd rather a, 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 a beast that stays on the board. Oh, wow. This is a really good card, by the way. Poison oak. That is a... It's a rare. Uh, another landscaper, which we're actually going to stick that right in our Neptuna deck. Uh, Poison Oak is really good. You can really make a um, ringleader. <laughs> you like the ringleader? I hate it. Uh, oh, that's what you use in that deck. Oh, yeah, the ringleader. Okay, we already have a million of these. The super fat beats. It's a fine card. Come on, give me some good stuff here. I haven't been excited about any of this stuff yet. Let's go. Getting a super rare early, I guess, was good. Two Poison Oaks. Wow, I'm really, it's in my mind, I would try it a long time ago to make this, you know, face plant deck, and the thing I was really missing were the Poison Oaks, and maybe it'll be possible now. Got another Surprise Grand Show, another Vitamin Z also is a card I don't have that many of. So, come on. I, I like the two Poison Oaks. Oh, come on, Beats. I already have so many of these. Yeah, no, this opening. Let's go, we'll, we'll, get, we'll get one more good card. The two Poison Oaks I think is really good, uh... Really, you want two is kind of the number of poison oaks that you want in a deck. Also, it's kind of expensive to six trap. Double flower. That's a super rare. Yeah, not too exciting. It's nice getting super rares though, I guess. 
Here we go. Three. Oh, yes! This is exactly the card I wanted in Aerobic Instructors. I want, like, two more of these. It would be so amazing. I'm really, really happy to see the Aerobic Instructor. I want to make this Z-Mech dancing deck that I already sort of have a deck list in my mind. I just need the cards, and uh, that's really, really happy to see the Aerobic Instructor. Okay, I'm happy with this pack opening already. Uh, wow, that's a pretty good card, actually, the Jumping Bean. I only have one of these, and it's actually an extremely good card. This is also the Foot Soldier. is also a really good card. And uh, Sky Shooter is kind of the plant counterpart to the Foot Soldier, so... Uh, happy to see the Jumping Bean. That's a fun card. Last one, here we go. Pizza's good, I just have so many, so I wasn't so happy to see it. Oh, wow! Graves of Wrath! Are you kidding me? We got a lot of super rares in this one. We got like four super rares, so pretty good pep. Uh, pack opening sizzle. Not bad. Don't have too many of those. I did see a really good deck recently that um, that featured sizzle, so we do have Graves of Wrath, which getting, by the way, we kind of have synergy in what we got today, because having two Poison Oaks and a Grape 